Hey everyone, Atari here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can save gas on Ethereum by using RPC Flashbot. What these Flashbots do is, one, it prevents any transactions from failing. So you'll never lose gas uh, by another failed transaction. Two, it'll actually bypass the mempool, which is where your transactions sit in the middle before they're added to the next block on the Ethereum blockchain. So by skipping this and going directly to the miners, you're able to potentially save some gas because you will no longer get front run by bots. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. The bottom line is that you're gonna be able to save Ethereum because you'll no longer have any failed or reverted transactions. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how you can set up RPC flashbots on your MetaMask. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up MetaMask and you wanna add a new network down here. Okay, so let's gonna open up this page. And here we have the details that we need to add. So the network name will be Flashbots Protect RPC. The new RPC URL is rpc.flashbots.net. And I'm gonna add these into the description of the video to make it easy. Chain ID is one and the currency symbol is ETH because it's Ethereum. And that's it, you're gonna save that network. So now you can see that even though it's Flash, Flashbots Protect RPC, it's still showing you your Ethereum and so you're still using the Ethereum network, but you're just bypassing the mempool, which is where all the transactions just sit. If I go back to Ethereum mainnet, you'll see the same thing here. And yeah, that's it. So to use Flashbots, you're gonna use anything that you normally connect with your MetaMask, like normal. So I'm gonna to go to Uniswap and I'll select the token that I want. It'll show my Ethereum as well. Let's say I want 0.1 and then I'll click swap, confirm, and the MetaMask is gonna pop up and it'll use the RPC Flashbots network instead of the Ethereum. That's how you add Flashbots to your MetaMask and that's gonna help you with failed transactions, reverted transactions. It's gonna prevent you from getting front run so that you don't pay extra for gas. I would recommend you turn that on when you wanna do an NFT mint, when the chance for a failed transaction or a reverted transaction is high and the Flashbots does give a quick disclaimer that they're still in beta, and so some transactions might just not end up going through at all, but the good thing is that you never lose gas. So yeah, hope that helps, and I'll see you next time at DGen University.